Hey everybody, it's Uptown. It's been a hot minute since I've been here, but I'm back, I'm here. I actually never left, don't worry about it. But anyway, I'm here to talk about another product review. This one's for a website called Dress Lily. Dress Lily is an online website that sells a huge variety of products. Today we're gonna be focusing on wigs, but in addition to wigs, they also sell apparel. General apparel, they have shoes, they have accessories, they have bags, they've got all kinds of stuff. But today we're gonna talk about wigs. So in talking about wigs in context of Dress Lily, they actually have a lot of different types of wigs that you don't always necessarily see on websites like this. They have your basic um, everyday synthetic wigs. They also have a cosplay section for wigs and they also have human hair wigs. So depending what you're looking for, they probably have something. And in each of those three categories, they have a huge selection like everything else in their store. They also have men's wigs. So if you do have a larger cap size and need a larger wig to fit your head and not squeeze your skull to death, they have that too. So when Dress Lily reached out and asked if I wanted to review their products, they basically gave me a budget to use to go on their website and browse to my happy heart's content and choose however many wigs that, you know, their cumulative value equals that budget. And so using the budget that they gave me, I was able to select not one, not two, but five wigs that I'm gonna review for you right here and right now. I have no idea how I'm gonna film this or how I'm gonna edit this because, oh my God, that's a lot of wigs and a lot of ugly wig cap hair to see in one video. So I'll do my best and try to spare you as much as I can of the ugly between wigs transition. So we'll see how this works. So when I was selecting these five wigs to review, I did my very best to give you a sort of demonstration and accurate representation of the different selection that they have. Babe, don't text me, I'm in the middle of a review. <laughs> so I picked a lot of different types of wigs. I, if I remember correctly, I think I picked two regular everyday wear synthetic wigs, a cosplay wig, and then also two human hair wigs. Now, I don't know if I've mentioned this before or not, I think I have. I don't know if I've mentioned it on this channel, but in the past, human hair wigs kind of scare me and they kind of creep me out. And that's just an ism of me. Like, it, there's really no reason to be creeped out by human hair wigs, but I am. But I have seen people rock some human hair wigs recently, like in the cosplay community. I decided for the sake of this review, I was going to conquer my fears and face it Head on, <laughs> get it? Head, head on, Never mind. I'll go. And actually pick a couple of human hair wigs to try for myself and hope and pray that they are all that they are cracked up to be. I also want to say that this review is kind of weird for me because prior to contacting me to review something for them, I've actually already purchased a few wigs from Dress Lily in the past. And my experience was, mixed. I want to be as honest as I possibly can in all of my reviews, but in the past I ordered three wigs, I think, from Dress Lily, just kind of on a whim, because their wigs are super affordable. I want to lay that out there. Um, I believe they were all synthetic, and out of the three that I ended up buying, I think I ended up only liking one of them. And that could have just been a complete random happenstance and misfire. Sometimes certain wig designs are just not designed very well and they're just not gonna be flattering and they don't sit on your head right. And that's just the reality of wigs. Like you can't always get it perfect. And so I may have just randomly selected a couple of duds and that could very well happen. Maybe I just got unlucky. So now that I have a much larger selection to choose from, I'm, I'm gesturing over here because I have a stool with a stack of five wigs on it. <laughs> that you can't see. <laughs> but now that I have a larger selection to choose from, hopefully I will, you know, have some more successes and I have some good news to deliver. So, you know, only one way to find out. Let's just hop to it. So the cosplay wig that I chose from their website, I think was actually marketed as a My Little Pony wig. I don't know which pony this is supposed to be. I'm sure probably like a thousand of you in the comments below are probably gonna tell me exactly which pony it is and I'm gonna feel stupid, but. Oh well, 
just gonna out myself right here. But reason I picked it was because it's very kind of not what I usually choose in terms of wigs to review because it's super colorful, which you probably guessed as soon as I said My Little Pony, so that information's redundant. But yeah, it's a really colorful wig, and you can probably see it in the bag. It's got, um, it has a lot going on. Some of Dress Lily's wigs came in bags like this one, and others, which you'll see later, came in boxes, which held bags, which held wigs. All right, I have removed the wig from its confines, and wow, it is really colorful. Mm, actually, I'm not sure. I was gonna say that I think on the website these colors maybe looked slightly more pastel. Maybe just slightly. Um, I think it's pretty accurate. Maybe not entirely, but pretty accurate. Um, in real life, I mean, they're, they're really saturated and they're quite vibrant, except for this like odd non-committal kind of like gray mauve color that blends in with this purple. Inside of the construction of the wig is very typical of cosplay wigs, you know. It has the loops at the back of the neck and it has the two elastic straps with the hooks to loop into those. Looks pretty typical. It doesn't have a skin top, very kind of fuzzy and stand uppy at the top. So if you wanted to do some like cool spikes at the top, oh wow, look at that. So if you want to do some spikes at the top that defy a bit of gravity, it very much wants to do that and it's really easy to achieve. This is definitely a very versatile wig in terms of how you would want to cut and style it, which that part I definitely really like. So here's what the cosplay wig looks like. It's super bright and it is super colorful, but I actually really like it. It feels really nice and snug on my head. I didn't have to adjust the size very much and I must say that in general, the wig itself is actually very cooperative. True to predictions, it does very much want to stand up. I did not stand it up in this moment, but if you wanted to, it definitely would let you and it wouldn't argue with you or be rude. I like how the back fibers are still short, but they kind of flip out at the side, so you can tell that the pink is there, but it's not like in your face yet, unless you want it to be. It's fun to kind of shift the different colors around and see kind of like what looks you can come up with and I actually am really enjoying it. It looks terrible with the shirt I'm wearing but details. So yeah, I think that this wig is actually a definite score and I'm really enjoying it. I will say the one thing that's really unfortunate about it is that um, it sheds like crazy. <laughs> I There's no product in this wig at all. I basically just combed it a lot and just like put it into shape and just kind of chose where I wanted the chunks of hair to go. Oh, there's a there's another piece. And uh, it shed all over me. Um, especially here at the front, I think a lot of the green fibers here kind of in this section of the wig kind of just fell. <laughs> and I'm combing it, it doesn't look like a lot's happening. And I look down and my, you know, my black shirt is covered in just like green fibers. <laughs> I mean, the wig still looks fine, and with a decent amount of hairspray, and you know, like if you didn't mess with it a whole lot, I don't think the shedding would really be a problem, but it's just something to consider and to keep in mind. It feels pretty thick, and doesn't really feel like, you know, a really cheap cosplay wig, but it was cheap, and it's actually not that expensive, but I think it's a really, it gives a really cool effect, and I think it's a lot of fun. It, this would be a really cool wig to do with a lot of, um, kind of just like outfit and makeup looks. You could test out a lot of little, really fun colors, maybe some glitter or whatnot. And I think you could do some really cool things with it. I, I like this wig and this is definitely one that I'm probably gonna use for something. Also, it just occurred to me that this is quite potentially supposed to be like a rainbow dash wig. I don't know why I blanked and like didn't think of that earlier, but yeah, probably rainbow dash. Just gonna. Just gonna make a guess. All right, so on to the next wig. Next wig is one of the everyday synthetic ones. Um, and this one in the picture looked super pretty and it's a color that I've always actually kind of wanted to try out. This one actually has tissue and also a tag on it that has the item number and the color number. Oh, that reminds me. So a cool thing about Dress Lily that I do wanna make sure to point out is that not only is their just selection of styles of wigs really good, 
Um, many of their wigs are actually also offered in different colors. When I was looking through their website, many of their colors were already out of stock, so my options were slightly limited, but um, thankfully, you know, in most of these wigs, they did have colors that I wanted, so it worked out. So this wig is actually really pretty, and from a distance, you know, it looks almost black or maybe like a super dark brown. But when you look up close, there's actually um, these different tones of this kind of chestnut reddish brown in it. And I like the way that it kind of catches the light in these different ways, and I think it's really elegant. The style looked super natural and really pretty in the picture, so we'll have to see if it actually looks that way on a person. I will say that I think right out of the bag, it's got a little bit of bag hair. And for those of you that don't know, bag hair basically refers to the condition a wig is in when it comes out of the bag and it's got kind of these like little kinks in it or it like curls over or under in these not very natural ways just because it's been sitting in a bag for a really long time. And often this can really easily be fixed by either brushing it out or really gently giving it a bit of heat treatment either with a blow dryer and a brush or with a straightener if the wig is heat resistant. And if my memory serves, I believe at least most of the wigs on their website are generally heat resistant, at least at low heat. So I think I'm gonna probably give this a really light, quick pass through with the hair straightener and see if that helps. Because this is a normal synthetic wig, it doesn't have a skin top, but it's also not a lace front. And this wig has a natural part in it, but because, you know, it is just a normal synthetic wig, it doesn't necessarily look super natural up close. The hairs kind of have this crimped look at the top and they're just kind of brushed together to hide your natural hair, but still kind of pass as a natural looking part, which usually does the job. It's usually perfectly enough to make this passable because Especially if you're tall like me, not very many people are gonna actually be able to see the very top of your head, so they're not even gonna see this, so that's one advantage. <laughs> but honestly, it doesn't look that bad. So I think once it's straightened just a tad, this might actually look really nice. I'll try it on without straightening it first, and then I might end up giving it a little bit of a little treatment of TLC and see what that does. So this is what this one looks like. I did try it on fresh out of the bag and it was not cute and its bag hair was definitely in need of a little bit of love. So I ended up attacking it with just a blow dryer. Just with the hair dryer, I could already smell the fibers getting really, really, really hot. That nice hot plastic smell. And so I figured that a flat iron would just be way too much. And the blow dryer was actually doing its job very well on its own. So I straightened basically all of it except the very, very back because that's really hard to reach unless I put it on a wig head first and ain't nobody got time for that right now. But straightened out, you know, from the front, this is basically what it turns out to be. And it's actually pretty cute. Unlike the cosplay wig, this one actually kind of works with the shirt I'm wearing. <laughs> the part is definitely like not the most natural looking thing, but it definitely is very passable, especially if you use this for like a cosplay or something and you weren't trying to necessarily convince anybody that like, oh, this is my real hair. The back, like at the crown of the head was really, really strange because it was very thick and very high and it kept wanting to like poof out over here for some reason, and it looked really unnatural, but through straightening as much as I could and just like squashing it to my head, it looks much more believable now, so we're, so we're good now. The bottom ends definitely like to do this like flippy thing, which is actually kind of cute and I don't hate it. What I do actually really like about this wig is that it has some shorter pieces up here where the part is. It has one over here too, which just kind of needs to go over there, but it helps it look more natural too, of just like having some different lengths that kind of blend together. And so I, I enjoy that about this wig. And especially when it's straightened, like I, I just love the different colors in this wig, the different colored fibers of just like the really, really dark, dark, dark brown with the red is super pretty. And I love the way the light hits it. This is, I think definitely a really cute wig and you could probably, you know, you could cut these bangs to be more of like, you know, a side swept kind of thing. You could even just clip them down underneath 
and have it, you know, more like this. And that's what a lot of people do with their wigs and even that's pretty cute. So it's versatile and that's what I like most about wigs is that, you know, if you can do a lot of different things with them, you're on a, you're on a good track. Next synthetic wig that we have here is this one, which actually comes in a box. And these boxes are, they've seen better days. <laughs> they got a little bit beat up in transit, so that's a little unfortunate. The corners are kind of torn and kind of bursting at the seams, but they're still kind of just nice to have. It helps you distinguish one wig from another and it just helps protect it a little bit better just in case, because I don't know how you guys store your wigs. Everybody kind of does a little differently. So, who knows? Now this could be one of two wigs, because I actually picked two black wigs from this website, and I'm not sure which one this is yet, so we're gonna find out. Whoa! Oh. Hold, hold on. Wow, you know, this, this wig has seen better days. Okay, that's actually interesting. So, this, I think is a synthetic wig, right? It's not in one of the human hair boxes, so unless they mislabeled it or something, I'm pretty sure this is synthetic. It also kind of just looks synthetic because it's a bit shiny, but um, anyway, what I was gonna get to is that they actually have combs inside this wig. They have one at the front hairline and they actually have one at the back as well. So that's really cool. You can snap these open and then snap them closed and it helps keep your wig in place. But uh, this wig looks interesting. It's got a lot of layers. The top layers are really kind of squashed out of shape. So they're just kind of a hot mess. This wig is kind of a hot mess coming out of the bag, but maybe it gets better. I do want to maybe regretfully point out that it looks pretty thin in the back. But yeah, see how the hairs just kind of look a little scraggly, I guess? I don't really know how else to describe it. But the back of the wig is not the most substantial I've ever seen. It's really easy for me to just kind of like poke my fingers through the back because there's not a ton of wefts in it. So it's not very thick. It would be maybe kind of easy to see light colored normal hair through this wig, I'm guessing. We'll see when we actually put it on. So that's a bit worrisome. I think I've seen worse, but it's it's just not very thick and it doesn't have great coverage, so we'll see. And I think if I'm correct, this might actually be one of the men's wigs because I actually picked one of those because I just wanted to see what it was like. So this might actually be really big on my head, we'll find out. But in the picture, I think if this is the wig that I'm thinking of, these top bits were actually like spiked up and it looked very kind of, uh, very Adam Lambert <laughs> for lack of a better descriptor. We'll see how this goes. And here is what this scruffy thing looks like. I'm coming to the conclusion that a blow dryer is actually literally saving the life of all of these wigs. <laughs> so as you remember, all of this lovely fluff and tuft up here up top was like really squished, really kind of like twisted and kinky looking and not that kind. It just was not looking that hot. But now that I've actually taken a blow dryer and basically just like swooped it all around and kind of blew the hairs from the back to just kind of stand them up a little bit, like it works. <laughs> I feel like depending on what makeup I wore, I would either look like a really kind of like that careless, kind of unkempt, scruffy, like emo skater boy type, or a kind of bad ex pixie cut chick in a rock band. So it's versatile and it can go either way. But yeah, I would wanna cut the bangs just a tad. I've not touched them except just kind of brush them to the side because like I would, you know, I'd take some thinning shears and thin out the pieces above my eyes so that they wouldn't like be touching my eyelashes all the time and making me like, uh, I can't see. But it's good. And I would actually probably cut the back shorter because it's actually kind of long in the back and it just kind of like flips and like tufts in these kind of weird ways. So if you shorten the back, spruced up the bangs a bit and then maybe like 
You can either probably just leave this soft as it is, or you know, take some spiking gel to it and do whatever you want to it. And you actually end up with a pretty cool wig. So not gonna lie, I am impressed. I also want to point out that uh, this wig sits really closely to my head and thus makes it look pretty darn natural. And I really enjoy that. There's no weird like bulges, no places the hair just kind of wants to like puff out and do its own thing. It actually sits very streamlined and I think this could actually probably convince a few people that it was real hair if I just like trimmed it up a few places. Cause there's a couple chunks of hair, especially on this side, like this one that look really kind of blunt cut and choppy. Blend that stuff out with some thinning shears and you're good to go. Next one, also in a box, which is in slightly better condition is one of the two human hair wigs if these are labeled correctly. Oh, it's this one. Okay, I was actually kind of excited about this one because it's very um, cutesy, which is also not a style of wig that I typically choose or go for. Here's, here's what we're looking at. <laughs> it's really short, but it's like super curly and it's like super bouncy too. And it's, it's really cute. I was actually hoping maybe for a different color than this, but this was one of those that was offered in a lot of different shades, but many of them were already out of stock. So my options were a bit limited, but I did the best I could. And I don't have a lot of like natural looking blonde wigs anyway. And it's been something that I've been kind of thinking about experimenting with more. So maybe it was just fate. So this one also has combs in it, it looks like. And Ooh, so it has the uh, comb clips at the front and the back hairline, like the last one, but I wanna just point out the material on the inside of this. So at the front hairline and also here at the flaps that go in front of your ears, it's really soft. It kind of feels like a really soft brushed felt, probably gonna make it less likely to itch, just generally more comfortable to wear. Sure. I'm happy that even like just straight out of the bag, this actually looks quite decent and I don't think I'm gonna have to do a lot to it. Only thing that I might want to fix up a bit is the bangs because they have kind of like these shorter curls at the side and then they just have a lot of this straighter, longer hair, which is just bangs that you can kind of just trim how you prefer your bangs on your wigs. So I think for this one, I'd like it to kind of have like a nice natural side sweep. I think that would be pretty cute. That's probably what I'm gonna end up doing. I'll try it on without cutting it first. And then, you know, just for my own pleasure later when I end up wearing this at some point, I'll probably give it a little bit of a trim. I don't think I have clothes cute enough to go with this wig yet. It feels very soft and I just love all the different colors in it. You can probably tell but there's just a lot of different shades in all the strands in this. It's got a lot of dimension and I, I really enjoy that in my wigs. So here's what the blonde one looks like. I definitely had to cut the bangs. They were straight out of the bag. They came down past my nose. There was no real way to tuck them to the side and make them look decent. So I'm gonna have to go in and touch them up, but just for the sake of this review, I really quickly cut them shorter, swept them a little bit to the side just to give you guys an idea of kind of something else you can do with it. And this is what it looks like. Overall, I think this wig is really cute, really sweet. And I think it could go with a lot of really cute outfits, but my one gripe about it would be that the top feels kind of like a cone head. It definitely wants to do this at the very top. And I have like crushed this thing down and blasted it with a hot hair dryer to kind of make it sag back down again. So it looks decent right now, but straight out of the bag, it definitely did not want to actually do that. But otherwise, I think it's really cute. And I love the curls. I keep saying it's cute. I just keep repeating myself, but it's cute, all right? The curls are like super fun and bouncy. And you know, you could dress this up with some cute hair clips or barrettes, a bow, throw it with like a Lolita cord or something, who knows? But there's a lot of cute things you could do with cute, God, stop. I'm actually happy with this one too. It's it's pretty comfy, so yeah, but I, I like it. Last but not least, we have our other human hair wig. This one I kind of picked specifically because I think it's very versatile. 
It's literally just a straight jet black short-ish wig that I think could be cut and styled into a lot of different things. And like me, you've probably observed that a lot of characters in anime, manga, just a lot of characters that people end up cosplaying a lot have kind of that short black hair, that kind of generic style. And I'm hoping that this wig might make a really good base for that because I, ooh. It has a lot of volume in the back, which is really nice compared to that other black wig that I was a little worried about. Again, it's not, it doesn't have necessarily a lot of wefts, but I, the hair just feels very thick and voluminous and soft. And so I think even if you cut this down a lot, maybe attacked it with some thinning shears and just kind of, you know, made it blend into the back of your neck a lot, maybe if you wanted to do a male style with this wig, I think it would probably cooperate for that, and that's pretty cool. And it does have some shorter bangs than you would typically see on an unstyled cosplay wig. This one starts with much shorter bangs, and so for those people that maybe don't have as much experience with cutting bangs specifically, this might offer kind of a shortcut and mean that you don't have to do as much to it so you can still see where you're going when you wear it. So we'll see once this is on, but that's kind of where my mindset was when I chose this wig. Also, this one has no skin top. It has that same kind of crimped, fluffy top to it to hide your natural hair, but, but I think that you could probably also spike this pretty easily. Like if you grab the hair and you pull it up, you know, it doesn't, automatically fall straight down. It does have a bit of volume to it. So, you know, with some hairspray and a hair dryer, you could probably make, turn this into a lot of different things. Last but not least, this is what the last one looks like. I think apart from the very first colorful cosplay wig, this one has been the most cooperative. I have not cut anything on this wig. All I did was attack it with a blow dryer because it had a bad case of top and back puff like a couple of these wigs have but it's very easy to fix, I found out, with a blow dryer because these wigs are slightly heat resistant, but not entirely, and so they will bend to your will with a little bit of heat, no problem. All I did was attack it with some really hot heat, press down with my hand, and then just kind of slick the hair down in whatever direction I wanted, and now it looks perfectly fine. I like that this wig is not too incredibly shiny, so the human hair aspect of it really helps with that. I think this wig is honestly a fantastic base wig for a lot of your potential cosplay needs. The back of it is very short at the nape, so you really don't have to cut off length per se off of the bottom. If anything, to give it maybe a more masculine appearance or just to give it a bit more depth and, comp and like complex shape, you could layer it and just take some of the length of the outside layers up a little bit to just kind of shape it to the back of your head a bit more. But honestly, at the back, it's already fantastic. The bangs are not incredibly long, but they're a bit long, so you could still have some room to play and flexibility to kind of trim off a bit here and there and make the shape your own. The side pieces are by far, I think, the longest and they have also a lot of flexibility that you can use. They're great for just kind of leaving long to frame your face. You could add some layers, cut these shorter. This way could work for a lot of things, and I actually really like it. Overall, my tone for most of these wigs has been pleasant surprise, because like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I've purchased from Dress Lily before, and I liked one out of three of the wigs that I picked for them. And that really kind of discouraged me against this website. But after they asked me to do a review, I wanted to give them another chance because I've heard good things about them from other people, so I figured it was probably just an error on my part. And I think that's true. I think maybe I just got a couple of duds, or maybe I just need to attack them with a blow dryer because I didn't do that last time. So maybe... All of these wigs are actually fantastic and I just didn't know. So, moral of the story, Dress Lily actually has some excellent choices of wigs, a huge selection for pr a pretty inexpensive price, and don't judge a wig by its bag hair. Honestly, maybe all it needs is a little bit of heat and then it's fine. So yeah, that's been my review for Dress Lily. As always, I will leave a link in the description box below this video to their website, so you can click that and use it to browse around, shop, and see if you like what you see. I highly recommend you check them out because they have some 
really interesting and cool styles that look really realistic, sit really nicely on your head. They have color options, they've got lots of different styles and different materials. So, you know, have an adventure. Have at it. But yeah, I think that's all I have to say. So thank you so much for sticking around and watching and I hope you learned something or that you enjoyed. And I will see you all next time. Take care.